Hi, welcome to another relaxed tutorial using Raptor as an introduction to computer science and programming logic. If you're following along in our book, we're on page 177, chapter 5. And we're going to do the flowchart here, deciding whether the temperature is greater than the maximum defined temperature that we define um, as a constant value or not. Now first we want to um, use an assignment box to do that. An assignment box is those plain square one, no inputs, no outputs. You put an expression, use a compute an expression, do a calculation, and store the result in a variable. So we double click in the assignment box and we want to set our variable name of max temp and we want to set that to 102.5. Okay, now let's take a moment and look in our book. Now in the pseudocode we we have two steps here. We have we want to display to the user um, enter the substance's temperature and then we want to input the temperature. Now we can use an input box right here. Double click in it. Now we can enter our prompt into the substance's temperature. Use quotes. And then put our variable that we want input, our variable name, we want to name it temperature down here. And that takes care of both of those blocks. Okay. Um, to do a a while loop because we want to keep getting the user to take the temperature if it's too high, right? If we look at our little decision triangle, you know, if the temperature is too high, we want to say, "Dude, temperature's too high. Turn down the thermostat. Wait a minute, and then take it again and give me the temperature again." So that is a while loop. While the temperature is too high, I want you to turn down the thermostat, wait, take it again. And then once the temperature is not greater than the maximum defined temperature that we defined as 102.5, we want to say, hey, you're fine, and um, just you might want to just check it again in 15 minutes and then kick out of the system or exit the program. Now, we, we are going to want to change our expression around the other way so that we're going to want to say so while condition <laughs> this is this is enter loop exit condition so our exit condition is going to be if the temperature is less than max temp. We are going to exit out. Okay? Notice that our exit condition will be if the temperature is less than the max temperature. If the temperature is greater than the max temperature, we enter into the looping part, or the yellow oval, that keeps the current until the condition is met. So therefore you must be careful because the exit condition side of the flowchart is false. They sometimes seem to be coded backwards into the program. The temperature is actually greater than, then we're going to want to go back up into our loop which checks. Okay, now we're going to add our output statements. We're going to, to follow the uh, pseudocode and input the uh, three different boxes to display. First we're going to tell the user the temperature is too high. Then we're going to tell the user to turn down the thermostat and wait. And we're going to tell the user to wait five minutes and then take the temperature again. Now here we want an input statement because we're going to input our variable again. We're asking them to 
enter the temperature again. And so instead of using an output display statement, <coughs> we will use an input and we will get the temperature again. It'll go back up and loop and check and see if it's less than. And let's run. And we're going to say it's 103. Um, well, it's not really waiting five minutes, but we'll say five minutes has gone by and it went up. It's 104. So it goes around again and now it's down to 100. And it exits out of the program.